Well, hello there, everybody. My name is VG Pat. As you more than likely already know, and welcome to a game of doors. This is going to be the first in a long line of games that I'm going to be doing that you guys suggested. Now, I was going to do Mirror's Edge before this because Mirror's Edge is much more highly requested, but Origin is having issues right now, so I'm just going to be moving away from that for just a little bit so we can get this done, and hopefully by the time that we finish this game, Origin will be back under normal conditions and we will be able to play fucking Mirror's Edge again. Because it, everybody loves Origin, right? Exactly. But this is not the time and place to be complaining about that. Welcome to a game of the dwarves! Oh man, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and I'm gonna be I'm I, I'm I'm 100% serious on this. I remember seeing this game uh, about a month and a half ago, and looking at it and looking at screenshots of it, and not wanting to fucking touch this thing with a 10 foot fucking pole. But you guys suggested it, so that's what we're going to be getting on into now. From what I've been told, this is a semi dwarf fortress e kind of game with 1990s 3D style graphics, um, at least that's what I got from the intro sequence. It reminded me of Croc from the PS2, but you know, that's just me. So we're gonna get right on into this. We're gonna go with the campaign, and I already started one real quick just to test out everything. So we're gonna go with Start, and we are going to be Prince Pat. Random blinding green thing. This is why I shouldn't play with the lights off. <clears throat> ah, no way. Somewhere around here, I mean. And this very mountain. The first dwarves entered this world. The dwarves have unlimited ambition and the talent for whatever they set their minds to. <laughs> they dug through mountains, built wondrous artifacts and structures. And had a courage of steel to face the fiercest of monsters. And win. On their way to glory, they encountered other races, such as the Nimble Elves. And the Mighty Dragons. With their help, soon the dwarves had spread far from their homeland. And created a vast kingdom. I was merely ancient back then. In the end, it was due to change. They came from the unknown regions of the north. Mages. The dwarfs had never seen anything like them. They wielded powerful energies called magic and brought with them terrible creatures that seemed to hate the very world itself. <clears throat> A poor mailbox. So, the dwarves offered their hand in friendship. But the mages had no such intentions. They struck out against the dwarves, and soon the great dark magic war had begun. The dragons flew to help the dwarves, but the mages were so powerful that they managed to strike the dragons down from the sky, destroying them. The elves fled the lands to let the dwarves fight for themselves. Pansies! The noble dwarves fought long and hard for their survival against the ruthless mages and the terrible destruction they brought in their wake. With no one to help, the dwarves Dad. were pushed back. Dad! Dad, you told this story dozens of times already. It's not real. There are no mages or dragons, and we don't even have a great kingdom laying around. This is boring to listen to it. Me up so it was out of the line. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice st story, anyway. But soon, the dwarves will rise again. And they will build a civilization worthy of their stolen glory! Dad, are you talking to yourself again? <laughs> Dad! Oh, no. Dad, shut the fuck up in there! It's not true! Well, whatever. A game of dwarves! I mean, even if that was all bullshit, I mean, there's still dwarves. He's probably just drunk. Let's not, let's not even beat around the bush here. 
He was probably drunk. And very, very well so. But that's where they do their best work, so. I mean, yeah, it was a, I mean, he's a pretty good puppeteer. Not gonna lie. Also, I find it very offensive that every single goddamn dwarf is fucking a ginger. I mean... I, I'm the prince, and you will hear me. Father, I have arrived! Was there something you wish to speak to me about? By my fluffy backside. Ah, you have been a lazy layabout since the day you were born. Not knowing the grandness of what a true dwarf should be, you have no ambitions besides filling your belly. But father! But no more! I am throwing you out here, uh, out of here so that you can learn how to take care of your own dwarven clan. You may only return home to Himford when you have proven yourself to be my heir and a true prince of the dwarves. Now go! Well, that was... short. Now go! Okay, so what do we got here? We got... Um, greetings, dwarves. Welcome to Vanaheim. Uh, I suppose I should introduce myself. I am the prince of the dwarven people, the only remaining direct descendant of King Father. Okay, our ruler. King Father has encouraged me to be more responsible and take my duties more seriously. From here on out, I will be the head of my new own clan or my own clan. However, we will not be considered a true clan until we've completed something called. The trial. We should look into the lessons King Father has prepared for us in order to learn how to control everything. Just click on the lessons button in the lower part of the screen. Besides that, there are two places we can go. The backyard, where we can train on how to control our own settlement. And the trial, where we will test our metal. I would recommend that we first take King Father's lessons and then try everything out in the backyard. Then we can finally show what we are made of in the trial. Okay, so up here is the trial, and right here is the backyard. Can we, uh, scroll out? We can't do anything with that. Alright, so let's go to the backyard. A step-by-step -step explanation of... Shut the fuck up over there. We're gonna play the trial. Or, backyard. Excuse me. Remember that you can dig both something and something. Alright, here we are. There are many Dwarven clan leaders here who practice their skills before trying to undertake the trial. This is the perfect spot to try the very basics of how to rule and control your own settlement. If we haven't already, we should really look at King Father's lessons in the world map. There he explains everything worth knowing about how to control everything. Everything worth knowing about everything. But for now, we should focus on the training. Let's do this step by step. We should pay close attention to the quest log. It will give us detailed e information of any quest that we should perform. Okay. My guess is, uh, diggy button. Let's go. No. No. Let's dig that. There we go. Perfect. Um, to look around, we can use both the mouse and the keyboard. So obviously the digging thing isn't what we're supposed to do. Even though it says fucking dig. Um, mouse and keyboard. With the mouse, the cursor to the edges of the screen. And with the keyboard, you can press WASD to move the camera. Scroll button over by dragging the mouse or pressing Q and E on the keyboard. The underground is not one flat layer. Sometimes we might want to look up and down. This is done with the slider in the bottom right. You can also use the R and F keys. Sometimes you just want to zoom in. And you can scroll. Well, motherfucker, you just go over there and dig. Alright, that's what we have in my throne room. A throne, a spawning pool, and one digger dwarf? Really? One dwarf. And to get him to work, we should the first look. Yeah, I've already done that. How do I unpause? There we go. Spacebar works. We'll get him to go over there and dig that. There, never mind. I only had to dig out the one one. Okay, then. Hold on now, what is this? We seem to have found a big empty room. And what is that over there? That looks like gold! I love gold. Let's go dig the gold. How much gold? How much fucking gold is there? Oh my god. I like gold. Um, that looks like gold! We should definitely gather some. Yeah, we will. Um, you can gather materials by using the dig order, just as with any block. We... who knows what juicy things we can manage to find if we keep digging around. Neat. I mean, this isn't gonna mean, even even with the tutorial, this probably won't be too hard for us. Just simply because, you know, 
with Dwarf Fortress and all that, we kind of know a lot about the game, like, or, or this kind of game anyway. Plus, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that hard to understand anyway. Now, let's go dig out this now. And there, ho ho! Look at this big room. This must be part of the older part. This must be one of the older parts of Hemfort. Do you see those dark colored blocks? Do not dig those. If you do, then we cannot continue. A great find, Digger Dwarf. You have earned some well deserved rest now. We do not need to dig anything else for the time being. Let us disable the dig or our temper. You're a faggot. I like digging stuff. Um, let us disable the dig or temporarily while we focus on other things. Hmm, we probably need a bed so our tired dwarves can have somewhere to rest. Let's play. So how do we build beds? Here? The fuck he said like build beds, right? Oh wait, no. Is this dwarfling? Spawning pool? Spawning pool? That may do something with the spawning pool. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Dwarfling ordered. Oh. Never mind, there we go. Is that it? Haha, I did it. I figured it out. What we need is to get a dwarfling, a young and Yeah, we turned into a dwarf that we need Yeah, I already did that guy. Dude, I I'm like a step ahead of you. Great, the dwarfling has arrived. Um, the spawning pool is our connection back to Hemford. It is from uh, here that dwarflings will appear after we have ordered them. Now that we have a dwarfling, we can give him a profession. Dwarflings can be upgraded instantly. Um. Okay. Well, he's a crafter now. Nice dance, bro. Finally, that dwarf will be able to do some good. Let us get him to work and build some useful things for us. Click the build button and now search for a buildable bed for the dwarves. To sleep and rest in. Beds can be found in the furniture category. Yeah, I can probably figure this out. I can figure it out. Shut up. Thank you. I can probably figure it out. Okay, so it cannot be up against the wall. So we'll just put the beds over there. I don't know why I'm building three. It's just, you know, I'm used to door fortress and, you know, building a shit ton of stuff. So, you know, go figure, right? Hurry, my little builder dwarf. I don't know what that button did, but I hit it. Oh, it turns off their health bars. Alright, finally we have a bed. Now the dwarves have somewhere to sleep. They're not royalty, so I don't know why the ground is not good enough for them. Oh, wow, you're, you're kind of a douche. Now what we need is food. Dwarves can't survive without a proper good meal. There are several things we need to do in order to get food, but first we should have somewhere for the dwarves to eat. Let us open up the build menu again and build a table. Table? Okay, so that's how we uh, rotate it. There we go, that's not that bad. So we'll have him build the beds, then get a table built. There we go. Aha! Good work, Crafter Dwarf. Now we have a table that the dwarves can eat from. When they are hungry, they will go to the closest table to eat. So we should be able to... We should always be sure to have enough food in storage. With no food, the dwarves will starve. Just saying. Now that we have a bed to sleep in and a table to eat at, we could use some food. Now let's look at the dark colored blocks in the middle. That's soil, I'm, I'm gonna assume. Um, in the middle of the room. That is fertile soil! Hell yeah, got that shit right off the bat. Um, this is the only kind of block where plants and trees can be planted. Really? You, you'll need to build a fertilization stone for that. My belly is starting to rumble. Why do we need a fertili fertilization stone? Hmm. Now let's put one here. And here. And that looks nice. It looks pretty. Alright, so we'll let that guy build a fertilization stone. So now that we have a fur now that we have fertile soil, which is given energy okay, it gives it's given energy by the fertilizer. Uh, what whatever. It's time to grow some food. Open on the build menu, find the lemon tree, and then place it 